if you want to check if this is your problem, open up this little access port and just tap the gear. Sounds pretty similar, hey? Okay, never mind. The spring's okay. I gotta get a snap ring right here in this groove. So you get this inner fender off, gives you a little more room to work. I'm debating taking off the wheel. I don't want to take the starter out. Oops. It's way easier than I thought. It's just two bolts, one wire, one connector. Okay, before we forget, there's this bolt here. It holds down this cable for the starter. And if you loosen that after you pull the fender out, that'll give you more space to move the starter around. That little pigtail there, that is the only connector you gotta pull off on this truck anyways. Excuse the mess. Finally, I've been waiting to do this for well over a year. See that? That should not be loose in there like that. That is what is tanging my flex plate. So when the truck is at a slant uphill, this gear will continuously fall. Looks like it's been eating it a bit. So all that metal is accumulated from the wear from the two gears hitting. I'm surprised they both are intact, especially on high speeds. I'm going up hills on the highway, it sounds like a freaking. it just sounds bad. Only done this once in school, so I need to run to the store and get some e torques or inverted torques for these screws. So take this off. Those are your magnets in there. This is your armature. So if you pull out that uh, armature like I did, these four brushes uh, need to be pushed back into their spring-loaded spots here because they push on the commutator, which is that right there. Planetary gear set for gear reduction. There's the sun gear. Three hours to get this. Okay, never mind. The spring's okay. <laughs> so, the problem wasn't the spring at all. This shift fork, okay, this plastic fork, solenoid engages, pushes the gear out. But when the solenoid disengages and comes back, this fork gets pushed that way. This loose washer here. It's supposed to be in that little groove there, and when that's in place, this fork will actually pull the gear assembly back so it's not hitting the flex plate. So, lucky me, all I need to do is find a way to get that washer back on there. Sweet. So. You hit the starter key. This solenoid pushes in like that. Action moves this lever that way. That moves this gear that way. When it returns like this, this shift fork will go like that. It should drag this gear back, but it doesn't. This washer is supposed to stay right there, but it's loose. So, here's what I gotta do. I gotta get a snap ring right here in this groove. So I gotta get this assembly off. But to get this assembly off, see that little gap there? That's a snap ring around this little piece at the top here. If I can get that off, I can get this whole thing off and get the snap ring back here. Okay, so I have some really cool neighbors. He had a kit of snap rings. I just put a snap ring here. It was like a universal kit he had and it just happened to work. So, and that should pull back the gear when it disengages. Don't forget, there's a snap ring here. We had to pull off to get this collar off. 
to get the rest of the gear assembly off. Okay, got most of it back together. Let's cover for the planetaries. Here's the tricky part. What you're gonna wanna do is get bobby pins or toothpicks or something. You're gonna push these brushes, there's four of them here. You're gonna put them back in their places. Then you're gonna put a toothpick or something in each one of these holes to hold those brushes in place. When you do that, you can take your armature and shove the commutator down in its home there and then remove those toothpicks and then the brushes will ride on the commutator right here. And then when you keep that stationary, you pop the cover back on to the rest of the starter. So I had these Allen keys. They're actually to hold the springs back. These things here are springs. Inside, they push the brushes that way. If you put something in that hole, it holds the spring back. You can get the brush in there a little bit, but not all the way. It makes it a little easier. I'm gonna put this socket in there and then just slip it out the back side. So it happens to be about the same width as the commutator. So. Once the commutator is in, you can put this case back on and then reinstall it on the rest of the starter. I don't want to pull the case back off because it's magnetic and it will pull the armature with it and it might pull it out of the brushes. Put this cover back on. Taking this cover off made it easier. It allowed me to slide the socket out through the back. Okay, so I just over torqued that. I just over torqued that. I just over torqued that and put a crack in the solenoid. So I'm gonna seal it up with some super glue and call it good. Moment of truth. <laughs> 